Hello everyone. In this training video, we will take a look at the key settings of the training module that will help you and your department easily and effectively track training hours. We will explore five possible configurations here, so hang in there with me as I go through each of them to show you the effect they will have on an individual class. The system's default setting is the first combination we will discuss. We'll navigate to the training module, settings, and then general settings. You'll notice that none of the boxes are checked here. This configuration allows you to simply enter the class length here in this field in hours and in minutes. This is on the info page. The hours entered here will apply to every student attending the class. In combination number two, we're going to track training hours by training code. Again, going to settings, the general settings tab, we're going to check the second box, track hours by training code. Don't forget to click save. Now let's take a look at that same class. And now instead of entering the class length in the primary field here, each of the training codes now require an entry for hours and minutes. The sum of the hours for each training code autofills the class length field here. You'll also see a short description explaining that this value will be based on training code hours. A nice little reminder. Just as in the first configuration, all the students' hours will be the same for this class. In our third configuration, we will enable the ability to adjust each student's training hours based on actual participation. We've all experienced classes where someone had to leave early, or perhaps a student stayed after class for additional training. This configuration allows you to capture differences in actual training hours. First, I will reset our general settings to the default settings, making sure to click Save. Okay, now we'll need to go into the payroll module. Don't worry if you're not using the payroll module in your department. Our developers figured this out as the optimal solution to be able to track unique training hours for each individual. Pretty smart bunch, those developers. All you need to do is click on Payroll Settings, check this box, Enable Hourly Payroll for Training, and then click Update. If you're not using the payroll module for anything else, then this is just a matter of setting it and forgetting it. You're good to go. Okay, now let's head back to the training module to see the effect this has on our training event. Okay, we're in the same extrication class. The info page has changed the class length field to where you enter the hours and minutes here. And our people page has changed as well. We now have an hours column. We can fill everyone's hours by the total class length as shown here. But let's say Dave had a family emergency and had to leave at lunchtime. He was only able to attend half the class, so we'll give him three and a half hours. An important tip here. I strongly recommend in the administration module entering default pay grades for training for each member of your department. That way you won't have to select a pay grade for each student for every class. It's perfectly fine to set the default pay grade to zero dollars. Since this is linked to the payroll module, the system will always want a pay grade for each agency student. Moving to the fourth combination, I'm going to reset everyone's hours to seven. We're going to head back over to the settings and general settings. This time I'm going to check track hours by training code clicking save once again, and then heading back over to our extrication class. Well, you'll notice in this case now, the class length is driven by the training code hours, just like in combination two that we talked about earlier. And you'll notice that the people page has not changed. All right, we're ready to tackle the final configuration. In this one, we will be able to track hours by training code and by individual. Let's head over to Settings, and of course General Settings. 
select track hours by training code by individual. Then click Save. It's important to know that the ability to track hours by training code by individual will only function when the payroll settings are enabled for training. Now we'll go back to the class we were working on. Click on the People tab and you'll notice an expand and collapse arrow next to each student's name. Clicking on the arrow will reveal the individual training codes for the class. So unlike the earlier configuration, we can now actually adjust the student's hours by training code. For example, let's say Dave had to leave early during the hands-on portion. We can make that adjustment and it will reflect in his total hours for the class here. Or Tommy stayed after and practiced with the extrication tools. Again, we can make changes there. And his hours appear here. Pretty slick, huh? I'll leave it up to you to decide which configuration gives your department the training data you need to easily and effectively document training. Before we wrap up, I want to show you a message you'll get on the Authorize page when using this feature. Sounds ominous, mismatch between class hours and student hours claimed. No worries, it's just a system's way of letting you know that some students have different hours than what was established back on the info page. As long as you get the prompt and the password field to complete the class, you're good to go. All right, to recap, we discussed five possible configurations for documenting training. Here they are. Option one has no boxes checked, class training hours will be tracked by total class hours, and that this selection will give you limited output in some of our training reports. Option two, the track hours by training code box is checked, and this allows for class training hours to be determined and tracked by the training code hours. Option three, like option one, no boxes are checked, so class training hours are tracked by total class hours. However, because payroll is enabled for training, each student's hours may be adjusted as needed. Option four, track hours by training code is selected. This allows for class training hours to be determined and tracked by training code hours. Like the previous option, each student's hours may be adjusted as needed since payroll is enabled for training. Option 5. Track hours by training code by individual and track hours by training code are checked. Payroll is enabled and unlock option 4, each student's hours may be adjusted as needed for each training code within the class itself. Phew, that's a lot to digest. Thankfully, this is a pretty short training video. Don't worry if you have to review it a couple times. I know I sure did. I hope this helps you set up your training module to your department's satisfaction. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay safe.